Hey, what's going on? This is Steven C. Raffel. Is this on? Mmm. Mmm. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, I am uh, from the planet of Omania and... It's a G arpeggio. And um, I'd like to... Today's going to be a little bit of difference. It's a Sunday, so I could say... Amazing grace as we the sound... Okay. Um, let's see. Thank you for my subscribers and the PayPal tips and all that kind of stuff. Thank you. Um, I would like to, I have a new thing. I've, I don't think I've ever done this on the show. I am going to take my blood sugar. Okay, I used to have numbers of 400 to 600. You know what that is? That's death. You know, Joe over at the OMAD Revolution, my dream was always, because he was where I learned everything, uh, for him actually to mention me. And he did a one hour live and he mentioned me in the beginning, the end, and the middle. And uh, I had uh, blood sugar levels of 17, which... Uh, Eight or nine are awful. 17 is death. It just says suicide on it. Okay, and so um, what I like to do is I like to show you, anybody could just go get one of these little meters. This is like seven years old. You just take out one of these little tabs. I took one out to save a little time. And uh, I haven't even taken mine in a while. Okay, you put it on and look what happens. It goes, oh, it's ready for some blood. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. It'll be really embarrassing if it's high. Okay, I just, uh, Put it up this little gun, and I put it under my finger. It just feels like boing, no pain at all. But it's a little needle. Let's see what it's done. Okay, I got a little ball of blood on my finger, and I'm gonna put it on there, okay? I haven't even, my numbers, like I said, when I used to eat like a pig, I had pigation, I had chinlatory. Uh, let's see, you know what it is? It's 90, anywhere between 65 and about 100, is absolutely wonderful. It's wonderful, it's marvelous, you should care for me. Okay, let's see. Do you have gas station air hose syndrome? Does it look like somebody's put an air hose? Okay, this is promoting one meal a day and uh, weight loss, but I, you know, I've been doing this for about 117 days or 120 days. Um, of these videos, but I've actually, today is day um, 215. I'm gonna show you my transformation. Uh, air hose syndrome is, does it look like somebody put an air hose into you and you just ended up looking like a South Park character? Um, but I would like to say uh, today I have 50 things, uh, well I have 95 things memorized. And today I'm gonna talk about from 50 to 60. Every day I go over a little bit and um, Let's see, number 50 is um, your body, every time you eat, you have a little brain. Some old Chinese doctor said, you have a brain in your stomach, and it's gonna remember every time you eat. You know, if you haven't ate for a, a week at breakfast or lunch, then one day you have some breakfast. Next day, your, your brain's gonna go, where's my breakfast? Okay, so that's one thing. The next thing is you're gonna set a good example for people. Check, one, two. Okay, you know, I gotta show you some people. Uh, okay, this is me when I was real fat. And uh, let's see what else I got. This is me when I was in surgery, because uh, in 15 minutes, they just said all your arteries are blocked. There's me having facation. Look at that acne and all that kind of stuff. Actually, that's coffee stains. Okay, and there's me thinner. And uh, there's me on a Good Morning America show. Look how fat my face was, but I thought I looked good, see? If you look back here, I look fine. Let's say on the set, okay? And there I am at the zoo. Uh, the stomach is just so incredible. And so my blood sugar is 90. You couldn't get better. I used to be on insulin shots, all 70 units a day. It's like three or four shots a day. Every time you have to eat. You know, whenever I go to these big chicken fry places and stuff on the water, I see these people that are so gifted. They're like livestock. They're so huge. And then they all sit down and then they have a black bag and I know exactly what's in that bag before they open. Every time I'm right, they, they, they're gonna shoot themselves up so they can eat. Uh, it's so embarrassing. Okay, another thing, you're gonna look way younger. Okay, got a little, uh, look, here's my commercial. Eat less food. Okay, who do we got here? We got the devil. I don't listen to Stephen C. Raphael. He's just trying to sell his cups. Dude, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> but I do have these cups. I am the yo mad man. Oh, yeah, I'm the yo mad man. Okay, another thing. 
I'm going to keep saying these things, these 90 things, 10 every single day, because repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is the mother of skill. Okay, now let's see. Um, another thing, you're going to be a lot more peaceful, because every time you eat, your body's got to work. Your body's got to work, okay? Another thing, every time on the radio, on the TV, when you're driving by, I don't know if you know this, but everything, there's only two kinds of advertisements now. Hospitals, medicine, and food. Nothing else. Not recreation. Okay, there might be gas station, but it's gas station food. You might see about a cruise, though, but what do you think about when you think about cruise? It's all food. You know, ask uh, uh, the trucker Randy. He's on a cruise right now, and he's... I sure hope he doesn't gain weight. Okay, another thing is you're not going to feel sluggish anymore being on uh, um, OMAD, eating one meal a day. And uh, another thing, another reason is you're going to be able to get in and out of a car. I was with a friend who could barely get out of the car. You know, it, it's, it's sad. Okay, another thing is you're going to stop your heavy breathing. Okay, we've got almost six minutes into the show today. I have the OMAD man. got blood on the keys. You know why? Because I'm on blood thinner. It's because I screwed my life up by overeating. Where, where's that hospital picture? Yeah, by overeating. This is what happened. I went into the hospital. I went, oh my God, oh my God. In 15 minutes, they didn't even make me wait in the, re in the uh, emergency. They stuck a thing up my arm and it was the worst thing in the world. And after, for the next Year and a half, I could not breathe until I lost 30 pounds and then my breathing problem was over. I went to a pulmonologist and everything. Okay, another thing is you're not going to be thinking about food all day, even if you cook. Okay, and uh, this is the eighth reason. Okay, and the ninth reason or tenth reason is you're going to be at a buffet and you will have one plate and you will be in total control. I mean, ha, it, 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 it's, it, it's awful when you're, when you're completely out of control. You're like, oh, I'm in a buffet. I'm going to go eat and I'm going to eat and I'm going to eat. You know what? If you need more than one plate, you're not hungry. You're basically kind, trying to cover up a problem. Okay, and I'd like to tell you, imagine there's no oh man. Everybody eating 20 meals a day Ice cream, cookies, burritos, apples and pie Imagine all the people Never lose in my prince voice you might think that I'm a dreamer you know what but I'm not the only one another thing is the outlaw just he sent me over a couple other reasons before my show I got off all my medications I mean uh, uh, metformin you know all that stuff those numbers I would have to sit here and go for like five minutes and I'd have to I'd have to um, go down, but it's, it'll get, it remembers, it'll go all the way to 600, 400, 600. Let me tell you what 600 blood sugar feels like. I used to stutter. I'd go, hey, what's going on? If I had one piece of bread, I wouldn't be able to see across the room. Instantly, not in a few minutes, any kind of carbs. Okay, now I also want to show you something here real quick. Um, I'm, today's a little bit different. I'm going to kind of treat you to this. Now, I, uh, I basically did this on my live broadcast. And, uh, and I just want to show you all. Look. There's four days on Nomad. Okay? Here's the next day. Eight days. Look how tired. Thirteen days. Look at my face. Look at my gray hair. Look how... I have no energy. Hi. White. Uh, about six weeks. Look how disgusted I am and depressed. Hi. Eight weeks. In eight weeks, my skin looks way better. Ten weeks. I'm in a casket there, I think. Ten weeks. Still depressed. Eleven weeks. I'm starting to shape up a little bit. Look at that. Twelve weeks. 
Three months on Nomad. Look at the face. It's pretty much as good looking as my face now. 13 weeks. 14 weeks. 4 months. 4 months. 4 months and 2 weeks. 4 months and 3 5. Months. I was always in bed. That, that's 5 months, but then I started 5 and a half months. 5 and a half months and I think the last one. 6 and a half months. Yes. And so that is my uh, that is my journey every single week. Because I was so totally wanted to do this. I just, you know, I was just sick of being, basically, you know what happened? I got to be completely honest with you. You know, I've been married for 15 years, but uh, this girl came into town that I used to know years ago. I haven't seen her in 15 years. And if I, I was so embarrassed by how big and how... I was like, uh, I had to do something. So many little things. My brother told me, hey, watch this guy who eats one meal a day. I dedicated my whole life for about five hours a day watching these OMAD videos. And then one day I made my own. I went, I don't know if anybody is going to watch this because I had no self-confidence. Okay. And um, I just want to show you real quick. Here's my uh, food list here. Uh, when I first started January 18th, uh, the first four days I lost 10 pounds, and then for two weeks I only lost about three pounds. And then uh, this is everything I ate. If you send me an email and a little tip, because it does take me some time, I'll send you this. And then for three weeks I didn't. I only weighed 170, and then and then uh, I lost four pounds. And then for two, look, 160, 160, 160, and then 159. For one month, I did only lost one pound, and I didn't cheat at all. The, okay, no snacking, no grazing, and then uh, these are all these were my diabetes numbers, which were high. But after a couple months, they were completely normal. I don't even take my diabetes anymore. And uh, then I got uh, after 120 days, I got to 150, 150. Look at that, 150, 151, 150, 144, 145. And 143, and now I am 140. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, um, <laughs> I got a little Zen proverb here for you. Oh, mad man, oh, mad man, teach me about weight loss through your proverb. Okay. Persecuting the unfortunate is like throwing a stone at someone who has fallen into a well. You know what that means? That basically means, you know, if you see somebody who is very, very huge, there's a slight chance, like let's say it's 350 pounds, there's a slight chance that that, instead of going, look at that person, oh my God, there's a slight chance that you know, maybe they just dropped 25 pounds and they're on their way. The last thing they need is um, some um, encouragement by people. You never really know. So, uh, you know, I mean, look at me. Somebody could, but I wasn't doing Nomad here. You know, uh, I wasn't doing Nomad there. You know, and here's one I've done Nomad. And that picture there with the tuxedo is when I got my 500th subscriber. And uh, I, I want to thank everybody for making my dreams come true. And I want to thank everybody for, I was in bed for years after my heart attack. And even before my heart attack, my wife didn't really make me work. And uh, all I did was teach once or twice a week. And I'd go back into bed and I'd eat uh food and I'd text and say make me a tray of cheese. I would eat a block of cheese a day and uh, uh, and uh, please send me three gratefuls. I know I ask you this every day and one thing is if you're just starting Nomad you're not always going to be hungry. Okay the hunger is going to go. You might at first feel like you're in jail okay but after that you'll be you'll be fine and uh you're going to have self-control. Like when I was saying I was uh, completely stuttering and I ate a piece of bread and my whole thing would go. Uh, 
I could eat whatever, <laughs> this sounds arrogant, I could eat whatever I want, probably for a week, and I don't think I'd gain any weight. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to gain weight. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, and so, um, I wanna thank you guys for watching it. You know, I took my blood sugar, and I even got a couple little speckles on the piano because I'm on these blood thinners because I have four stents in my heart. But you know what? There's a chance I could live another 30 years. I mean, what are you guys gonna do without the OMAD man? You know, I've tried so many things and it didn't last. I tried Weight Watchers, it didn't last. I tried Overeaters Anonymous and they took my kid. I tried Jenny Craig, I tried Atkins, but they never, 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 never last. And one thing that, that is really happy is I went to, my stomach used to be some, I mean, look at this. I couldn't tell if I was a man or a woman because I couldn't see my weenosaurus genitalia. But I went to the doctor and they told me, uh, how does it go? I am a man, I am a man, apparently I am a man. I am a man, I am a man. The doctors told me I was a man. Yeah, you know, and you guys, out, you boys out there or men, you know, there's more to life than just eating. Everybody has their shirt untucked. I used to live in Sweden. Every man had a shirt tucked in and a belt. Okay, well, um, thank you very much. And I'm um, going back to the planet of Omania. And I like you. Happy Sunday.